Hi, I'm Casey and I'm from Edinburgh. Hi, I'm Scott and I'm from the Midlands. Hi, I'm Robbie, I'm from London and we're all first year lawyers at St Catharines. It's quarter to ten, it's a Monday morning, we're about to go to lectures. Let's go. Okay, hey, we're just on the way to lectures. I'm just going to grab some breakfast and smiley. It's the best sandwich shop in the world because it's cheap and they do great panunis. <laughs> so Scott, are you doing any rowing today? Um, I'm going to try and get a boat out on the river at some point. Yeah, um, the end of term, like kind of rowing season, we finished last week, but we're still doing like some outings here and there. <laughs> Robbie, what college sport do you do? Uh, yeah, no, I do rugby, um, which is why I had the rugby dinner last night. We're playing a bit of squash as well, but not really. Uh, not on a competitive level, but it's nice to get some exercise in. Just, yeah. Do you find plenty uh, of time to do sport as well? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously the academic side of it is quite, uh, it's quite a heavy workload, but I mean, that's why we're at Cambridge, so um, got to expect that. But Yeah, most people planning. manage to do a couple of exactly, other things yeah. as well as work. I mean, you'll support, hopefully see today that um, our life isn't just about law. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how often do we have lectures? Every day. Every, Every day. day. Not, not on weekends, not weekends like yeah. some others though, so no, it's all fine. We're, we're not scientists, so we don't have Saturday morning lectures. No, nah, actually, in comparison to some subjects, we don't have that much uh, yeah. contact time. So hmm. we have we have two lectures a day, uh, today, tomorrow and Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And then on Friday, Thursday and Friday, we only have one lecture yeah. a day. First term, Just, we had a few more. Yeah, yeah. we have a slightly less this probably because uh, more focus on individual work. but. Um, and then next yeah. term's the same, we lose, we lose even more lectures next term and it goes down to more of a bad schedule. Yeah, because uh, obviously next term is exam term, so... Scary! Yeah, it's gonna be fun, fun, fun! Go! So this morning we have a constitutional lecture and a torts lecture. Um, constitutional laws about how power is controlled in, you know, in any country. Uh, so like, Quite yeah, it's about politics, kind of like a mixture of politics and uh, like human rights, and that's something's really interesting. Really talks interesting. about, talk laws about civil wrongs, yeah, people, things like negligence, yeah, um, people hurting each other, and uh, but not in a criminal way. So it's, it's like, quite interesting. Yeah. Because, I mean, you don't know much about that before yeah. you come to kind of, kind of come to like a law yeah. school. Once people you're here, you find out that there's so much more than just criminal law. Yeah, which is quite good to learn about. It's really interesting as well. So yeah, so we've got two hours of lectures. Um, you can join us in there, we'll show you a bit of that. Uh, they're an hour each, so. Not um, too bad. Yeah. Don't fall asleep. No. It's good. <laughs> Should we go? I've just found Sarah Beth, she's just come into the faculty, she's a third year lawyer at CATS and uh, she's my college grandma. Oh, so, so family time Family there. time, family time. So yeah, we all get a mum and a dad who like kind of look after you, they're in the year above you and then they've equally had a mum and dad in the third year. So we have like quite a college bond that you get, so like Katie's my sister, she's the one filming at the moment and this is my college grandma. What lectures do you have today? Oh. Yeah, we're to... and Exciting. Three. Gosh. Yeah. That's what happens when you get into the One in the afternoon. Oh, it's fine. Nice Great. Thank you for speaking go to us. Stand. Enjoy. Um, finally, again on the tone of the article, Baroness Hale, in her speech, returned to this. Um, she said uh, that the Wall Street Journal is not a newspaper with an interest in publishing sensational information. It is a gravely serious paper. Indeed, some might find it seriously dull. Um, we need more such serious journalism in this country, and defamation law should encourage rather than discourage it. Now, Lord Justice Sedley has commented on this in a later case and said, surely Baroness Hale cannot have meant that the Reynolds defence is um, a prize for bland journalism. So this is the difficulty, I think, in focusing on the tone. Is it sensational? Is it does tend to say, well, if you're a very boring paper like the Wall Street Journal, you can rely on the defence, but if you're the son or the news of the world, R.I.P., uh, then you can't. <laughs> anyway, uh, Rosemary West argued that um, hostile, very hostile, pre-trial press coverage had, had prejudiced the trial. So the newspapers were things like, you know, House of Horrors and, you know, evil, the evil couple. Uh, so you can imagine, they're pretty lurid headlines. Right, which side of your business is it? No, it's the original.
Okay, so we've just come out of lectures, we had tours and constitutional this morning, and we're just waiting for a robbie. As you can see, the faculty's quite a bit more busy now, because people are going into lectures. So now we're going to take the scene through home, so you can see a bit more of Cambridge and some of the colleges. How were your lectures today? Yeah, they were, they were, they were really good. Um, our constitutional lecture was really interesting. We were doing about uh, where, where newspapers are allowed to publish, and whether that's contempt of court, if they're talking about trials while they're happening. That's really interesting. And in talk, we were talking about how you can get damages for defaming someone or libeling someone. So untrue statements about them or um, saying things that would decrease the reputation of someone. Interesting. Um, yeah, and then obviously we were doing about the Millie Dowler trials and about Levison and all things that are really relevant at the moment that we hear about in the news every day and then we come and study it here. So yeah, it's really interesting. So we're about to go inside the Law Square Law Library. Um, it's a really good place to work. We, do, we don't work there as much because college library is so familiar to us. But it's really great if you want a bit of a change of scene. Um, you can generally be quite productive here. It's really light. There's like the whole side of the building. So it's really nice. And there's pretty much any book you could ever imagine for law. Any book you could ever want for law is here. Ten minutes later and the snow's completely stopped, so the sun's come out, it's a lovely day again. Classic Cambridge fashion, the weather is up and down. Yeah. But we're just gonna have a wander past the university library now, as you can see it. It's yeah. one of the only copyright libraries in the country, if it's only three. So what does a copyright library mean? It means that it's got a copy of every book ever published in the UK. Which is pretty cool. Which is pretty damn cool. cool. Hey, so here's the UL. Absolutely massive. Uh, loads of researchers and academics from around the world come and use this place, so you kind of bump into the strange people that you've seen off the TV doing academic shows. <laughs> that's, quite, that's quite cool. Um, but yeah, so it's normally really busy, but it's absolutely beautiful inside for really old, what you kind of think of as a Cambridge library. Yeah. Should we head back to college? Yeah, let's yeah. head back to college. Ready? So this is Clare College. Really as you can beautiful. see, it's quite a nice little courtyard. It's really nice to come through different colleges, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's like it's, you get to see really good architecture and stuff. Here we have probably a group of six formers. Big group of six formers. <laughs> and That's Clare one College. thing you definitely need to get used to in Cambridge. Lots of tourists and lots yeah. of school groups. And everything, a lot of yeah. We do lots of access work, so through colleges you generally get a lot of um, sick forms coming around that you get to take for lunch and show place and stuff, which is really nice. So I run here quite a lot. It's really great actually Cambridge for running. Lots of people go jogging to take time out of studying. Yeah. Um, it's a fast way to get good exercise, I guess. Yeah. And it's really beautiful, yeah. especially in sunshine. It's kind of sunny now. It's quite nice actually now, um, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we're liking nice it. Sunny day. So, yeah. Um, we also have a college gym in terms of exercise, which yeah, is yeah. Yeah, I used to pretty handy. Yeah. yeah, you do as well, don't you? Yeah, no, it's quite good just to, it's I don't know, if you've got a long essay to do or something, you can sort of take half an hour on the gym and sort of yeah, de-stress, which is good. Now, but we'll get yeah. there. Most colleges have college gyms, yeah. so um, yeah, generally that's a nice place to kind of go for a break yeah. in the evening. And here we have the back of Kings, which is pretty scenic, especially in the sun. Are there any punters out here? Yeah, there's, there's, a one. Oh, there's one up there. There's, one up there. there's, there's a punt down there, there as well. Punting is something that you can get up to in Cambridge. <laughs> so, bumps. That was smooth. Bumps is like the famous, <laughs> the most oh, famous like rowing saga. So yeah, bumps is basically you have series of 17 boats um, racing down a course, uh, all at one and a half boat lengths apart. And the point of it is for you to one? crash your boat into the person of the boat, the, boat, the college of the boat in front of you. So, um, hence the name bumps. Yeah, so it's over four days. So yeah, it's, a really it good, it's a really good social occasion for everyone else who doesn't row, so the whole college will go down yeah. and cheer on their college, which is really fun. Yeah. That's when you see the collegiate sort of. Yeah. Yeah, the college system is pretty cool. Really and the, ooh, I love walking this yeah. way, we should do it more often. Yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? Here's King's Chapel. Very nice place to live next to. And we're just going to go grab some lunch after lectures in Hall, which is what. How often do we go to Hall for lunch? Most days. Most days, yeah. It's, it's, it's really reasonably nice. bright, yeah. and it's also it's good to see everyone because everyone was, has just come out from lectures and yeah. see everyone has a day going before everyone cracks down to do some work and go yeah. after supervision. So that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to go to Hall, get some work done, go to supervision, and then see what happens after that. Let's do it. Let's go.
Are you looking forward to your supervision, Katie? Yeah, I am. But look, I need to print all these pages off. It's always a bit stressful. But um. I do, I like supervision. Originally they were quite intimidating experiences because in school you never really get the opportunity to um, talk with academics in the way that we do. Um, but now, yeah, they're really good. All our supervisors are really nice. Um, there's a lot of work for them, but as long as you get it done. Um, and it's always good to be, them, to have like an academic chat with the person who's writing your exam and writing the textbook that, that people yeah. all around the country are using. Yeah, um, yeah you definitely get the leaders in their field here, um, as cheesy as that sounds. Robbie, oh, what do you like about supervisions? I like the fact that you can talk about stuff that you haven't understood. Yeah, usually with the person that. that's either written a textbook or relevant articles that you've had to read, which is pretty cool. Um, and you wouldn't get that at a lot of academic institutions, so that's a bit of a bonus. Um, and yeah, it just sort of make sure that you've understood that what you've been studying. It is good because it keeps you in check and makes sure that you do the work. Um, it challenges you as well. They always and, ask yeah. really challenging questions. That yeah, mm -hmm. usually when you, when you go and you think you know, uh, you think you know the topic, and it turns out you might miss something. It's like small, like uh, maybe a small detail, it might be something a bit more bigger, big. But uh, either way, they're they're usually quite understanding if you've done the work. When you've done the work, then uh, they will be happy to help. But it's cool as well, we get to go to different colleges. Understandably, they, yeah, we get to go to different colleges. We are supervision today is at Jesus College, which is mm -hmm. a cycle right away. Now I'm ready. The file is ready. Good, We're good. Ready to talk about criminal law. It's going to be great. Okay, so it's five minutes until our supervision. We've cycled to Jesus, we are now here. And um, so we'll make our way to Dr. Stark's room and get on with our supervision. Well, if we just start off then by defining self-defence. So can anyone give me a definition of self-defence in one sentence, please? One sentence. One sentence. Um, uh, use the use of reasonable force um, to uh, defend oneself in um, circumstances when I'm under a, um, when someone's using force against you. Yeah. So when someone is using force against us, what do we say about our force in return? It has to be reasonable. Yeah. It has to be reasonable or and also necessary. 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 necessary, absolutely. So if we want to sort of condense that down, we'd say a necessary and proportionate response to a threat. Okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, they've started to go further now. Mm -hmm. So that proposal that I gave you, which is about household attacks. So you wake up in the middle of the night and you think someone's in your house. Um, what do the government want you to be able to use in those circumstances? Force that isn't grossly disproportionate. So we can use disproportionate force? Yeah. Okay. What did you think of that proposal? It seems... It be, might be popular. Um, It'll be popular among households, yeah. but then it's kind of... it's There's a problem with sort of it infringing the rights of the burglar. Mm -hmm. If you're allowed to just use any force, that means you can kind of... Like, what's to say that you can't sort of kill them if that's... Mm. Not considered grossly, and, and that's maybe like the issue with the violation of life, kind of yeah. right to life. Okay, so you're thinking of Fiona Leverick's yeah, argument yeah. there, okay? So, why does she think English self defense law is incompatible with Article 2 of the European Convention of Human Rights? Yeah. So, we just had our supervision with Dr. Sartre. How did uh, it go? Yeah, it was good actually. Uh, uh, really well. Clarified quite a lot of things, I think. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Some shops, heifers, it's the bookshop that we were going. Books from at the start of term. As you can see, the streets are quite narrow and they're also really busy here on the weekends and stuff. It's quite nice. We finished our, start, our Dr. Stark supervision in Criminal at Jesus earlier, which uh, these guys both had their, their supervision before us. Um, and then, yeah, so we've, we've uh, had Hall and Eaton, and now we've uh, come, just come for a drink, just chat through how everyone's been and catch up on the day. And in law essays, written tasks, you get either a conventional essay asking you a question like, blah blah blah, blah discuss. Is the law, yeah. Is the law aren't relating to yeah. negligence good enough? Yeah, discuss. Or you get a whole convoluted legal issue that you have to solve where you have to apply the law. And it's, um, 
can be quite difficult at times. Mm. Um, definitely, there's no. I don't have a personal preference between essays and problem questions. I don't think, depending on the subject, well, I, really. I think problem questions are slightly better. It's more like practical. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you, it's sort of like if you know the law, you can do it. Yeah. Essays are good. It's just a question of finding out what the law is. Think about why the law is like it isn't, whether it should be. So you end up criticising yeah. the law, which is good. It's, it's, yeah, it's good for, for your understanding as a law student of why people should yeah. criminalise things or why people should be liable to each other but it's also quite difficult because you're criticising something that's clearly good based in good rationale that's yeah. really not quite good enough really. Yeah. But it's really satisfying when you get to the end of a problem question and you manage to dismiss liability and find liability to different things and you kind of you realise the practical applications of the degree you're studying and that's like obviously really quite fulfilling ensuring that you're going to be doing a career at the end of this and you can see yourself travelling towards that goal and doing things that you will be doing in real in practice.